Hello again, everybody. Twilight Prince 123 here. Whew, it's been a little while since I've actually uh, picked up another Let's Play. But oh boy, this is going to be one really good one. Yes, as you can clearly see, yes, we are back with Zelda Classic and stuff. And, well, this quest has been, if I remember correctly, several years in the making. But it is also one that is created by someone rather infamous amongst the... Zelda Classic crew. If you know the name Evan20k, then you know this is going to be one interesting quest. So, with that being said, I present to you Isle of Rebirth by Evan20k. Now, this will be a semi-blind run, because I was a beta tester for this quest, and I did beta test, like, the first three levels for him, as well as, uh, as well as, like, an early build of a much later level. But, for the most part, I will be going through here mostly blind. With that being said, let's get this train wreck started. Take a moment to load up, because it's actually a pretty big file. It's somewhere a little over 20 megs. <clears throat> Peace has returned to Hyrule. Ganon has been defeated by Link and sealed inside the Dark Realm. However, there are still many followers still loyal to Ganon. <gasps> oh shit, it's a dragon! A dragon still loyal to Ganon kidnapped Princess Zelda and flew out into the East Ocean towards an island called Remdra. This isle is significantly less developed than Hyrule, being ruled by a Wizro clan that recently had a change in leadership. Link set sail for Remdra in pursuit of the princess. However, when Link reached the isle, the Triforce of Courage on the back of his hand disappeared without any explanation. Before we get started, let me just uh, set something really fast here. Some MIDI volume. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just want to make sure everything can be heard properly. Alright, as you can clearly see, this game is split into two different difficulty modes, Normal and Hero. The, mo the only major difference between the two is the amount of damage that you take. There is also a way later on to um, basically adjust this so way you can make it either easy or even very easy from what I hear. Now, seeing as though I'm not exactly an expert gamer, but nor am I a pansy, we're just going to stick with normal mode for this run. That being said, welcome to Southern Remdra. What's down here? Oh, yeah. This is something he just added. What are all these buttons? I don't know, but perhaps you should come back once you've finished your adventure. This room, if I'm correct, is actually the sound test room. So, yeah. You'll be able to access that once you're done. West, Hori Village. Northwest, Hori Woods. Okay. Welcome to our small village, Link. I was told to give you a message from the Archmage of the Ga of the Wizrobe Clan to meet him in a cabin in the woods up north of here. I wonder what this could be about. The Wizrobes rarely leave the old castle in the northern fields. Hmm. Now if I know Wizrobes, they're not exactly to be trusted. <sighs> I really want to try and learn to play an instrument for my girlfriend. The ocarina in the shop looks lame, though. Who says ocarinas are lame? Dun, dun. Well, hi, Nehru looking girl. <laughs> I wish my boyfriend would realize he doesn't have to try and impress me at all, all the time. All I really want from him is to spend time with him. Aww, that's sweet. The Wizrobe clan put up a barrier splitting the island in two. They say it is to stop the dragon raging up north from coming down here. But how exactly does a fence stop a dragon? I think there's more to this than they are letting on. Hmm, indeed. I miss making coconut salad. I would just go to the beach and get some coconuts, but I'm simply too lazy to go get some. That's actually a bit of a hint, because I know there's a trading sequence in this game. Like any good Game Boy Zelda should have. I wandered out near the river on the Remdra Plains, and this mushroom thing started shooting explosives at me. Be careful. Hmm, mushroom things that shoot explosives. Where have we heard this before? <laughs> As for the shop, we'll come back later, once we actually have the money. And now we play the dodging game. Dodge the Octrox. Let me 
So we have a shield to block their attacks if need be. This track sounds familiar to me, but I can't remember exactly what from. Aha! Through with no damage. And here's our guy. <clears throat> nice of you to show up, Link. I am Venser, Archmage of the Wizrope Clan. I have called you here because I have unfortunate news. Ganon's followers have found a door to the Dark Realm on this island and are in the process of freeing him. The dragon that kidnapped Zelda is working on his behalf. If Ganon is revived, a new era of darkness will befall the world. Our goal is to stop Ganon's revival at all costs. I imagine he wouldn't be too pleased with you after you just sealed him away. No, I don't think anyone would be. There is hope, however. The pieces of the Triforce of Courage materialized on this isle not long after you arrived here. Our clan has already secured one piece of the Triforce. The dragon you seek also guards another piece. However, it is best if you secure the other six pieces first. One lies in the ancient ruins on the beach, another sleeps in a murky bog. The next rests deep underground. One more lies under a cursed chapel, another upon an icy summit. Finally, the last one sleeps in a lost city, under the stormy sea. Once you have these six shards, I will give you the one I possess. Then you should be ready to slay the dragon, save Zelda, and stop Ganon's revival, and then go home. And we get a wooden sword. Just like in the Game Boy Zeldas, we can assign, assign it to A or B. I prefer A for the Game Boy games. That's just me. No. As you can also see... Although, I know I've heard some people kind of like... Be like, it doesn't really fit with the Game Boy sort of thing, but he used, um, he used Ocarina of Time sounds for, like, enemy hits and everything. Which I find is, an, is a unique touch, because I've never actually heard them be used. Now, one thing I should fairly forewarn about this quest for anybody that decides to want to play it. If you think your sword is the answer to everything in this quest, you're going to be in for one hell of a surprise. You are so going to be in for a surprise. You need to utilize all of Link's inventory. And we get a heart piece for killing all these guys. It's actually possible to get, like, a full heart piece worth... A, a full heart container worth of heart pieces before you enter each dungeon. So, something to keep in mind. Basically, the more health you have, the less rustling you will feel later on. The game's main difficulty is entirely based just on how many, uh, stupid, based on how many heart containers you can get. But, do know this, you are likely going to die in this quest. A lot. I've said it before, but Evan has a very unique way of teaching the player through, ga through the game. And by unique, I mean that he will rustle your jimmies to eternal hell. <laughs> so for now, I guess we just start uh, grinding up some cash, and then see what we can afford. Meantime, though, while we're grinding up for money, we can always explore around a little bit. Welcome to Hori Village, quiet hamlet on the eastern coast. Also, these fairy statues here, they serve two purposes. One, you can stand in front of them and restore your health to full. You probably didn't see it, but they are there. Plus, on top of that, they will act as markers for uh, um, uh, warp spots later on when we get the Ocarina. Now the actual adventure begins. West, Remdra, Pre Remdra, blah, blah, blah. Remdra Plains, and east is Hori Village in the eastern shores. 
speaking of mushrooms that throw explosives... <laughs> yeah, those are... Ow, definitely a thing. <laughs> those are definitely a thing. <laughs> not gonna bother, not gonna bother. Not going that way. Ooh, hidden money. Sweet. I actually didn't know about that one. Yeah, there are some hidden money around, like, trees and stuff like that, if you look closely enough. That reminds me of what Pinecon did back with all of his old quests. Like, he would always hide rupees behind trees and stuff like that. Ah, uh, Pinecon. You were the reason I actually even found out about Zelda Classic. I have to admit. So, yeah. I mean, it was End of Time that was, like... That was actually, like, my very first experience back with Zelda Classic, like, about two or so years ago. Unfortunately, I really have to start hauling my butt, because I, too, still have a quest in the making at the moment, and it's, like, over halfway done, and it's just sitting there now. I really need to find some time to finish it. back here. Another piece of heart. Sweet. <laughs> he always just seems to get right out of range of my sword. Stupid Octorok. Let's see. North Hoary Woods, Northwest Marshlands, and West is Remter Plains. Okay, yeah, we'll be coming back here later. That tree right here is burnable, but we don't have a candle yet. And we can't go this way because, well, yeah. So let's find another way around. Let's see what's in here. Uh, yeah, we won't be able to do this until much later. Looks like a mirror... a mirror puzzle, so... That's definitely a good indication we'll be getting the mirror shield in this quest sometime. Well, man, the overworld is actually very quite nicely done, but trust me, the beauty of this... The beauty of this quest is going to come in its dungeons. Oh, is it ever going to come in its dungeons? Believe you me. I plan on at least trying to get past the first level before this little session is over. Alright, west, Brighton City and Corona Quarry. South, Blue Forest, east, Remder Plains. Right. We'll be heading to Blue Forest first, I'd say. Who knows, maybe if Evan is nice enough, I can personally talk to him a little bit more about this, uh, about this. More head money. Sweet. Also, Tokays! I hate Tokays! Also, this music should sound pretty familiar if you guys played Dawn to Twilight. Yeah, it's level 3. <laughs> I actually pointed that out to Evan, he was like, well, okay then. I don't mind, I mean, it's a good song. Ah, killing Toe Case. So satisfying. And where we want to first go isn't here. Welcome to the Heart Piece Mansion. If you can solve the puzzles in the next rooms, you'll order yourself a Heart Piece. We'll start with this one over here. Yeah, this is a bit of a taste of what's to come later on. Locks on ice are slippery and do not lock into place on top of buttons. Very important to remember. Now here's the thing. I remember beta testing this puzzle right here, and I got pretty frustrated at it. But I was even more frustrated at how simple it was. A 
as I am showing here. May I just say, I hate ice block puzzles. They're the freaking bane of my existence. But unfortunately, there's going to be more of them later. As you can see, pretty easy. I personally told Evan, fuck you, when I first actually saw it, how simple it was. Also, yeah, you see these tiles right here that I'm walking on? Best that we stay on them. If we step off this path, that chest will revert into a block that we can't do anything with. There we go, and with that we have another heart container. So, that's cool. Now that one we won't be able to get until much, much later in the game, because we require a certain item to get it. This one, on the other hand, we can get. If we had the hammer, we could shortcut a lot of this, but... Since we don't, we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Just take some careful timing and steps. There we go. One more to go in here. I do love Evan's choice of music with this, too. This is very nice. Alright, now for this. This part's gonna be a little bit trickier because... Yeah, Armos. Now, if it keeps giving me... Oh, crap. That's why it's tricky. chest. There we go. Okay, barely made it out of that one alive. Let's see if we can't replenish some hearts with these pots. Can't answer the phone, unfortunately. There we go. Alright, with that, we're pretty much done here in the Blue Forest for the time being. Collecting some rupees. As you can easily see, these this grass is actually double cuttable, so you can get double goodies from it if you wanted to. Another thing I've learned from this quest, though, is to somewhat try to pick your battles. Trust me, very valuable info for later. Pick your battles. <laughs> Especially if you're playing on hero mode. Hero mode... Like, I haven't played hero mode it myself, but I've seen what it's capable of, and... It's not nice. If you think Link Between Worlds hero mode is bad, <laughs> you ain't seen this. The most interesting thing, though, is the fact that you actually have the option to go right into hero mode if you really wanted to. So you could just go, uh, to coin a term between, uh, some, some of the, some of my ZC buddies and mine, you can just go balls deep into it right, if, right then if you wanted to. <laughs> and we're back in the blue forest right now. <laughs> I have a feeling that windmill has some significance to it, I just don't know what. Let's go wake up this dude. Huh? Why'd you wake me up from my nap? This forest is so nice, the mushrooms here smell so good. Here, take the spare one I have. Oh, everything is bad. <laughs> Mushroom addict. Oh, Mario, when are you gonna stop huffing those shrooms? Oi! And that is what happens when you get careless. <laughs> Thank 
God for all this grass. It's not going to be that nice later on, trust me. <laughs> I can get like 230 rupees right here at the start. It'd be perfect because that'll let me buy the Ocarina. Something else I also need. Welcome to Brighton City, the marketplace of Remdra. Marketplace, huh? Welcome to our fair city, traveler. This city is a common crossroads for people wishing to go to the mines to the west of here. Woods to the east of here aren't really blue, and hailing the spores just makes you think it is. When I was younger, I thought that a really epic paintball game went down there or something. Since when do people in Hyrule play paintball? <laughs> I ain't gonna question it. These statues are really nice. They fully heal you for free. I wonder who, I wonder who put them there. I've also heard that giant torches have similar properties, but those supposedly only exist in large dungeons. Also quite important. I was able to sneak into Northern Remdra before the gate was put up. Things have gotten pretty bad up there. Oh, I do wonder how bad. Ugh, I'm tired of planting these flowers year after year. I wonder what kind of plant I should grow next year. You ever try geisha seeds? <laughs> I hear they're pretty cool. Actually, I'm not really sure. Do people pronounce it Gasha or Geisha? I prefer I prefer Geisha. I don't know why. Like, when I was younger, I and when exploring, I sometimes found neat stuff behind trees. You should try looking back there from time to time. Oh, don't worry, I have been. Two twenty-six. Now let's go up here. Ah, there's a shop. So there's 20 rupees over there, too. Ah. Correction, I might actually need more than 230. Well, first things first. Let's buy ourselves a magic shield. Because the better I get... The sooner I get one of these, the better. I have some bombs. Should probably stop this uh, portion at some point right here. See if I can't scooch it up to 30 minutes. Now these, we will actually need bombs to pass. Ah, this is probably going to be the most important house in the entire game. And you can see why. sure if I even need a potion this early, though. Eh. I can do fine without it. Hey, kid, what you doing down here? I'm looking for washed-up treasure, but I'm having a problem digging through this sand with my hands. Mister, do you have a scoop or anything? If I had a shovel, I'd help. Okay, we won't be able to go that way yet. <laughs> uh, I think I might have to actually stop this portion real quick. Looks like I got some company, so I'll be right back.